lads and ladies and welcome to this now today we are on the road again now today we continue our ground hopping series as we go to Wrexham v Chesterfield now these are two very big clubs for the National League both sides are struggling though it's 20th versus 22nd and uh, Wrexham only have three wins to their name this year and seven draws and six defeats so not started too well they have replaced manager and brought by Dean Keats who obviously did really well there he went to Warsaw didn't quite work out for him and he's come back John Sheridan is the manager of Chesterfield a manager that I've interviewed that I have a lot of respect for so always look out for these two teams results Bobby Grant plays for Wrexham one of my favourite ever Fleetwood Town players he is Wrexham's top goal scorer um, which is Unbelievable feat, six goals to his name this year. Let's hope it's a good game. Wrexham fans are always loud, especially at home. And Chesterfield fans are very, very good. Uh, they won 3-1 last week and filed and starting to pick up themselves. Let's go to the game of score prediction. I'm going to go for 1-1. Hopefully it's a good game. Hopefully it's better than the game that we went to on Saturday. And let's go. Also, if you're new to the channel, please remember to like and subscribe. We're so close to 4,500 subscribers and I need your help. So help us out. Thank you. So we arrived in Wrexham and a ground that is too big for this league. It's an amazing ground with such great history, great character towards it and I really like it. One of my favourite grounds that I've visited along my ground hopping series. Um, both sides are very good sides, good managers, Dean Keats for Wrexham and John Sheridan for Chesterfield, both managers who know how to win, especially in the lower leagues of football. I'm hoping it can be a great game this, this evening. I'm still going to go for a 1-1 or a 2-2. I think both sides are struggling, so they'll give it everything. Um, you're going to have to keep an eye out for Bobby Grant, who is Wrexham's top goal scorer, but let's hope it's a good game. And funnily enough, both sides play each other soon enough in the FA Cup qualifying round to see who will get a place in the first round of the FA Cup. Who knows? I could be back here in November the 10th, here with Fleetwood. So we've arrived in Wrexham. Reese, Wrexham fan, what have you yeah. thought of your season so far, mate? Um, awful so far. <laughs> um, certainly not where we expect, where we hope to be. Um, down in the relegation, well, near the relegation zone at the moment. Yeah. Um, and we wanted to be up at the playoffs area by now, I'd say. Um, but hopefully we'll um, we're on the up again. We've got Keats back. Um, he's certainly got us out of trouble before, and I've got full confidence he can do it again. Yeah. Um, and hopefully he can get our season back on track. Obviously, I know a few of your players, Akil Wright and Bobby Grant. Apart yeah. from them two, who am I looking out for tonight? Um. Rob Lainton, hopefully yeah. he's back in goal. Fantastic goalkeeper, probably the best in the league, in my opinion. Uh, Sean Pearson, another great player, centre half, um, plays his best football under Keats. Um, midfield, Luke Young, very good player. And up front, uh, Grant will probably be starting. Um, Hooper probably hasn't come back yet, yeah. I'd say. Um, we need him in the team. Yeah. Oswell's doing pretty well though, so um, hopefully, hopefully we'll get Hooper back soon. But I'm happy with Oswell at the moment. Just finally, you've seen teams go on a charge in, the, especially the lower leagues of football. League One, you've seen uh, Millwall uh, go up on a historical rise to up the leagues, getting in the playoffs. Yeah. Obviously, you saw Luton this time last year; they were 14th in the League One. You think that could happen with you, or maybe mid-table mediocrity? Um, to be honest, I mean we've been stuck in this league for so long. Yeah. Twelve, I think this is our twelfth season. Um, this is like it would be uh, um, the main target is pretty much to get out of the league, um, and then probably see where we can get on from there. Hopefully, we could maybe take a slow, maybe finish mid-table, yeah. 
um, and then start thinking about trying to push on and do well in League 2 but I just don't know how long that's going to take because we'll probably be stuck in this league for at least another season I'd say after this one and just quickly score prediction 1-0 uh, Wrexham I think we'll score late first half and then we'll park the bus at about at about 30 minutes to go because Keats Keats' style of play yeah. he can get it a little bit wrong sometimes where he probably decides we're going to defend for the last 30 minutes which is very nerve wracking to watch but hopefully hopefully it'll be effective tonight well anyway mate thank you very much top man thank, thank you thanks so we with Owen who's a subscriber of the channel thanks for that Sorry what's your thoughts on your season so far um, it's been pretty bad at the minute obviously we've had our manager just gone out just got sacked. <laughs> it wasn't shouldn't have it should have got sacked at the start of the season, in my opinion. Now we've got Keatsy back now. Hopefully he can do a job. Hopefully he'll get us to the playoffs. Yeah. And what's your score prediction for tonight, mate? Uh, I'm not gonna lie, I'm I'm a bit I'm gonna be a bit negative and think it's gonna be two on Chesterfield, I think. We'll give it our all but I think it's just the refs in our league at yeah. the minute, just just give everything to the away yeah. ends, you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Well, anyway, mate, thank you for that, and hope Wrexham have a good season. All right, mate. Good luck with Fleet. Thank you. Well. Cheers. Cheers. Great ball. Oh. Left. You can hear the Chesterfield faithful, they've been in fine voice all afternoon. Excellent support. Uh, 147 of them, but it sounds like so much. You can hear them celebrating the 1 0 victory. Fair play. <laughs> State of the office for Wrexham there. Again, my third visit to the race course. Love the ground. Every time I've been, Wrexham haven't scored. Starting to think I'm a bit of a jinx, but Chesterfield defended well after the goal. Um, Denton really impressed me, uh, going into defence and uh, defending everything away in the last few minutes. Thank you for watching today's video, I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, can we try and get to 100 likes on this video? And that would really be appreciated. Please remember to subscribe if you're new as you're on the road to 5k. Let's go, I'll see you Saturday.